That's my diesel noise. Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Have you ever watched Mike Tyson's Mysteries? I think it's on Netflix. It's a ridiculous show. Last video, I promised we would do the Mystery Machine from Mike Tyson's Mysteries. I think Mystery Machine, Mystery Mobile. Mystery Mobile, right. If you like adult cartoons, I think the comedy in this one will have you on your back. I broke my back. So this is the perfect Mystery Mobile for us. Why? Because it's such it's such a bad model of a van. I'm gonna be honest. And this was sent in by my man, Mr. Tilson. He sent in a bunch of cars. The front of this thing is, is just crazy thick. But whatever, we're just having fun today. So let's, uh, ugh. See if I can't get this thing apart. See that right there, I mean, looks pretty Hot Wheels. The grill and the bumper and everything, that's like a direct knockoff of a super van. It's a thick boy, look at this interior. Well, it's tough getting this glass out of there. There's two little sexy time windows here. They uh, really stick out quite a bit, and this does not have a lot of give right now because it's old. And it's brittle, but that's all right. Sweet, so here we go. This casting has got a lot of stuff going on with it. We gotta, uh, we gotta do a bunch of body work. Pretty crusty. It's probably getting about time we do a red line or something like that as well, eh? I've been thinking about that lately. Haven't really done a red line in a while, but nobody's really been asking for them either, so. I've been kind of just doing what I feel like. Man, that's a big piece of flashing right there. <sighs> Much better. A little edge right there, cut your baby's hand. Jeez, that was a bad one too. It's like a little blade on the side of this thing. So right here is where some of the decal is going to be uh, resting. So I got to do a bunch of work and get this nice and smooth so I don't have a bunch of air under my decal. So I might even blend this lip right into the rest of the body here. I don't care if this has this little drip edge. We don't need no drip edge, it don't rain here. I got some wheels picked out, it's nothing fancy. It looks like early 90s F-150. It should be a good looking van wheel for this project anyways. I'm not really sure what else I'd use them on, so we'll use them on the van here, let's see. So I'm gonna need Oh, hold on here. This wheel well is pretty tight. Just gonna have to do some axle tubes and see if I got the clearance or not. Gonna have to trim these axles a little bit, but at least I can check. Let's hope it's just that easy, but I doubt it. Do, 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 do. Maybe it is that easy. Sweet. All right. They clear, so we don't gotta worry about it. Excellent. And this, I'm gonna give a couple chrome touch ups. This stuff takes forever to dry if you have any experience with it. Like, I mean, like, days. If you've ever read any forums or anything on this stuff, guys are saying let it dry for a week before you clear coat it. Like, that's crazy. Sweet, so we got this all touched up. So I'm going to go and throw this in the paint oven right now. Usually with these bases, what I do is I just chuck it on the floor in there and it can just sit in there for hours and just warm. By the time we go do an assembly, all this Molentau pen, this liquid chrome should be nice and dry. We'll be able to handle it without a problem. So I'm going to go get this baking and then we'll uh, see about getting the paint off of this. Do, 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 do. Huh. Didn't need axle tubes. This little van's got a lot of imperfections. That's all right. I mean, the clear coat usually does a good job of getting everything on the same level, but I'm trying to give the whole thing a good once over with a little bit of uh, 600 here. Now you guys know how to restore cars by now. All right, this is looking pretty good. Almost ready for paint. I wanted to do a little bit of putty work. Here's my little decal kit I made. So obviously that just kind of circles that little port window but a small percentage of my decal is going to be right on this body seam so i want to fill that in so some of that decal is going to be up on here right on this little line so i'm going to fill this line right to here on both sides and just just make it smooth 
This one I might fill right to the front, right to this door. I'll just fill this whole line in and we'll just make it like it never existed. And it's going to give us a nice cleaner van body, I think. I'm just going to use some of this Tamiya putty here. Been using this for a few years now, works good. Just give me a little bit of dees. Beautiful. Alright, so we got this mudded up. I'm just gonna give it a, a few minutes here to dry and then I'll come back and we'll do some sanding. All our putty should be dry now, so I will take this opportunity and just give this a little bit of a sanding here. It's nice that putty is doing a good job of filling in that little line for me. Alright, let's mix up a little blue. This is pretty close to what we need already. So we'll probably just have to lighten this up just a smidgen. It's way more paint than we need. Let's start with a drop. Drop and a half of that. That's probably pretty close to what we need right there. First things first, I'm going to give it a coat of this blue and then I'm going to clear coat. I'm going to let that dry and then I'll come back and then we'll start masking off the first of the stripes. All right, so I'll meet you in the spray booth for now. So I just did a quick mod on my stand here. I shortened a couple of these arms. These little tops are interchangeable. So I'll put on my nice rubber tip ones on the little shorties. So you can see I scuffed up our paint here a little bit. I just did that with a scotch bright just to take some of the shine out of it because we are going to be doing some painting. <clears throat> These Kodo stands are real nice and sturdy, so I highly recommend them. You just got to modify the arms a bit. So I'm going to be using some more of these vinyl strips to do our striping here. I like using these. They're uh, way more tacky than tape and they're bendy. You know, just temporarily run that all the way to the back. Any of the tools I use can be found in the description. I've got an Amazon page there. Next to my OnlyFans page link. All right, that's a good start. That's a good start. It's real important to always have fresh blades when you're doing any kind of tape work like this. They'll hold the tape just like this with a razor blade and then just pick it up like that. It's a little bit easier for me to hold on to than a razor blade, but it's this corner. Yeah, that's doing it.
cool. So I should be able to mask off the rest of this and we'll do our little white stripe. It should be nice and easy. Just going around using the back of my blade to push in my vinyl anywhere where I think I might have a little bit of paint. Sneak out of there and not make my line nice and crispy. So I'm kind of pushing on these door jams with the back of my blade just to get that vinyl in there a little bit. Lots to do still. I'll meet you in the spray booth and we'll get this white done, at least. Alright, now we got to do the red stripe, so we're going to go back to our vinyl strips. Alright, I'm ready to go spray this red stripe, so I guess I'll meet you in the spray booth. Let's have a look and see how these stripes went. I'm hoping it's all good, but you never know. Hell yeah, that's looking great. I'm gonna get a little bit of thinner and I'm gonna do a little, a couple little cleanups here. A little cleanup here where I got a little oops a daisy with some red paint, but other than that, she's pretty tight. It's getting to that point now where I need to think about doing the tattoo decal back here, but the other thing I gotta do is paint a white circle on this door for the question mark decal, you know what I mean? Should be all right. Doo, 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 doo. All right, I got our door circles masked off here. I'm gonna go give them a spray and then we'll come back and do the decals. Hell yeah. So I just started doing this thing here where I start, where I put the white for the graphics on first and I've been experimenting with that it's been kind of hit and miss but for the most part it's working out this is not test fit at all <laughs> hey that's not bad not bad, man. Look at that thing. I want to rock. <laughs> Sweet. I'm pulling that down just a hair. Ooh, that's a full thing of micro saw right on the crotch. Man, that sucked. This room just reeks like vinegar now which I assume is the main ingredient in that micro set. All right, we're gonna give that the opportunity to dry for a little bit before we go clear coat.
Sure, this little beauty. Glee, 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 glee. Man, that front end's thick like a Brinks truck. Let's get this up on the rotisserie so we can have a look at it. Well, there's our little mystery mobile. I think it turned out pretty good. Got a feeling I'm the only one with a weird enough personality to just work on something this stupid. I enjoyed working on this casting. This is a, it was a good time. Uh, I want to thank you guys for following me along on this build for this mystery mobile. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.